Let's see what Kogaon has to say about this whole Final Fantasy XIV situation with Quinn. He just released a new video called Final Fantasy XIV is just awful. And it talks a lot about like the Quinn situation. Like probably a lot of you have heard or seen about uh, the WoW streamer Quinn trying Final Fantasy XIV and giving a very negative feedback. And yeah, this video is uh, about it apparently. So I'm really curious what Kogaon has to say about that. So yeah, let's find out. Guys, I am ashamed of the 14 community right now. A wholesome and fun streamer came from WoW to try 14 out for the first time. He gave it a good shot, and at the end of the day, he just didn't like it. <laughs> yeah, game. I read that too. And that's fair. That's his opinion. He can say whatever he wants, and you know what? He gave it a good shot, and that's all that matters. And even after giving his opinion, people are still shitting on him. Yeah, I enjoy WoW story more than Final Fantasy story by a mile. Okay, uh, that's perfectly fine to say. That's his opinion. Uh... What can you do about it? He just He's just not into story stories, I guess. You need to be more open-minded about new players and their opinions about the story because, you know what, maybe 14 story isn't everyone's cup of tea. And I feel I'm that- I'm gonna boast. I'm gonna boast. I'm, bo I'm boasting. Wait, hold up. Hold Yo, but that is actually true about, like, not everyone likes everything. I give an example. I love spicy food, but I have a friend that hates spicy food so much. Each time we go out and eat somewhere and grab some food, he always orders something very mild, not spicy. And I will take something like with tons of chili in it, right? Or some people are into heavy metal. Some people are into rap. Some people are enjoying opera. Some people are like, oh my gosh, I don't want to see this is boring. Like everyone has like our own taste, right? And by the way, if you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Anyway, let's continue this. And I feel I'm that burst. I'm gonna burst. I'm bo I'm boasting. Oh. Wait, hold up, hold up. No, That's the only no, thing that, no, you, you, that he, upset me a bit. He's just joking. He didn't. He didn't really yeah. boost through the story. He did. did he? Samurai easily. Okay, people are saying samurai easily. Okay. Oh no no no! Please, just, please, please, please. He, oh, he that's the boost. worst he you was can just do. Joking. He's just joking. He didn't boost. He actually tried and played through the story. That he didn't boost. Please tell me you did. Wait, I'm gonna buy. Wait, what the fuck? I'm gonna buy <laughs> skipping story. Oh no, Quinn! Please tell me you did not actually do this. You're making this a little bit hard for me to defend you right now. Yeah, I enjoy West Story more than Final Fantasy Story by a mile. Okay, you know what? He probably got far enough in the story to justify a boost, right? How how far did he get? He simply fishes them up in a safe zone. Line. Oh no. Cool. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back there. What level was he? Only level freaking 18. Wait, he bought the boost when he was 18? Like, I haven't seen this part when he bought the boost. I, I just saw his stream when he was already boosted. Like, I've heard a bit later about, like, when uh, try, trying the game out. Like, I haven't seen the, like, the first clips and stuff. But I've seen some videos and, like, like how he was, like, skipping through dialogue and stuff. Like, I've seen this. Someone uploaded this on YouTube of him, like, skipping through dialogue a lot. Like, click, 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 click and stuff. And then he boosted. Oh wow, but he barely got into the story. If he would have done like maybe level 40 or so, maybe his opinion would have been different as well. Oh no. That's sad, right? Oh no, baby, please. Okay, uh, this is a little bit bad, but um, maybe, he, maybe his WoW skills translated <laughs> over so he can actually be a good player in 14 maybe? So, maybe. yeah. But it's a bit different too. Where were the hills? Where were the hills? <sighs> you need to touch that mechanic. I would have touched it. Active time maneuver. What? Because he realized it too late. Did you guys see when he started clicking? I didn't know what that was, bro. Okay, we all failed. Yeah, we all fail, but the thing is, like, this, he's, like, new to the game, so he doesn't know what kind of mechanics there are and how, like, dungeons work there. Like, it's, it's different from WoW. I've done, like, a lot of dungeons in WoW and Mythic Plus and stuff, and, like, the way those work is different, because here in Final Fantasy, you have to not only often break certain things, like, it can be freaking ice pillars, freaking rocks or something, but sometimes you need to press stuff, like, buttons on, on the screen, like, here. So if you're from... Yeah, you experience in another MMO and you don't have those kind of mechanics or not as often, then you end up being a bit overwhelmed and what happens then you die a lot. But after a while you learn this. Like it's okay to wipe a few times, especially if you're like a sprout and you're new in Final Fantasy XIV. Like don't be afraid to do dungeons. And what I've experienced so far by the Final Fantasy XIV community, they're all very patient and very nice. Unlike WoW, you don't get 
kicked from the group if you white once or twice. Because in WoW, if you white once, especially twice, there's a high chance they're gonna kick you from the group. But in Final Fantasy 14, you can wipe three, four times in a row and you're still in the group. <laughs> like, seriously. Okay, we all fail the action maneuver at least once in our lives. You probably learned the second time around. Boosting to oh, the shit. stage of the game where you can get carried. Brilliant. Ah, he was too slow. I forgot about the clipping! You need to telegraph, blah, 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 without getting hit, door flying, he was get hit. I actually have a, a hint why he doesn't uh, like Final Fantasy XIV. Um, okay, Dude, this is way too much. I should. Okay, that's just my opinion about about Quentin, about Quinn not liking Final Fantasy XIV, like why he doesn't like it. I actually think this happened not because of the gameplay itself, but because of those dungeons that he wiped and died. Maybe he was like a bit frustrated and he was like angry at stuff. And you can see here he didn't adjust his uh, UI, like why is that on top? Like, I would always, like, that's just my opinion, I would always move those either to this corner here near the map, like very, very high here. Or I would put this at the bottom. Usually I do this here in this corner, like those thingies, right? But I've seen some people also put this here on top or like next to the map, but you don't have this here in the middle. And yeah, maybe because he wiped often and he died in dungeons, so he got like super frustrated. And then Quintus was like, oh, okay, this game is shit. Why? Because I can't beat it. Like I know some people, they get like frustrated if they keep losing. And from his like experience with like WoW and other games, he was like really good at them. So if he maybe starts like a new game and he's performing not as good, maybe he sees this as oh the game is not good. But maybe I'm wrong. It's just 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 something I think that also contributed to that. And the fact that he maybe doesn't like story. Didn't need a guide on how telegraph works. A telegraph should be a telegraph. So there's you like know, two I things probably. I want to say probably. this in the nicest way, but uh, Quinn, I think you, you you just have a reading problem. I think the thing that's good about this game, I guess, is the story, right? And the fact is, I fucking hate the story, boys. The story sucks dick. You have to read it, bro. Uh, yeah, some stream, some is spoken out too. I think the biggest thing to take away from all of this is that it's yeah, usually about the journey too, to get to the end game. You can literally take me or anybody who's playing 14 and force them to play WoW and they won't enjoy the journey. In fact, boosting them to endgame probably nah, will help boosting is not the answer. <laughs> it's kind of like if you took a book and then you open it up and you just skip right to the ending and you don't even read the ending. You just skip to the end and just be like, I'm at the end now. Uh, this sucks. Uh, real quick, sorry about that. Sure. Uh, I just totally remember that Quinn doesn't even know what a book is probably. So uh, Quinn, I'm sorry about that. I'll think of a better <laughs> example next time for you. You have to read it, bro. You have to read. Because you don't have that initial like want to play the game, it's gonna. Or but one thing confused me about Quinn that he doesn't like to read is like he played WoW and stuff before, right? And in WoW you have to read even more than Final Fantasy XIV because the thing about why uh, WoW versus uh, Final Fantasy XIV, like in FFXIV, you actually have parts of the quest. And this is actually a bit confusing at the beginning that you have to read, and another part is with voice dialogue, so the characters are uh, speaking. You don't need to read. And I felt like in later expansions, there are more voice dialogue, so reading becomes actually less and less. But I don't see a problem how the reading is difficult because it's almost like Twitter posts in Final Fantasy XIV. Because you get those like short messages, right? You get like one, two sentence, click, one, two sentence. It's not like you get this huge text like in WoW, like a freaking book page. You get like one, two sentences, you click like four, five times and it's over. But... Yeah, I think it's easy to digest actually the, the text because it comes in short, like smaller pieces, right? Want to play the game, it's gonna already ruin your experience ahead of time. Quinn from the start should have quit a long time ago instead of forcing himself to keep playing the game and thus leading to these awkward clips of him hating on the game. Yeah. I use a job! He was I use that job! Once again, I want to say that Quinn is obviously entitled to his own opinion, but uh, know, he was too close very, to this thingy. Not fair opinions. When I would have not died there. Most of the game, and uh, when you say that you don't like the story because you have to read, that makes it. I don't get. Yeah, I, I, you leave you leave me speechless. I don't even know what to say, honestly. <laughs> One last thing I'll say about all this is the fact that Quinn, you say a lot of stuff in this game is kind of immersion breaking. You don't really like some things in this game. 
you made a comment about one thing in this game that you should probably never make a comment about. The thing about this game is how good the female model characters look, but otherwise I can't get I, the aesthetic, dude. The fact that these guys can be, like, the fact that these guys... Uh, maybe I'm a role player. Certain elements of immersion being broken. Never is she hating on Lalafels? Of the Lalafels. I'm a Lalafel uh, main, come on! Just don't. I'm Those actually a Lalafel are probably man. the most scariest players in the world. Trust me. I know from experience. <laughs> yeah, we rock. We Lalafels rock. Seriously. Ah, yo. That's sad. That's sad though that he like boosted and stuff. Like, if I would have known this and I could have somehow reached out to Quinn or something, I'd be like, hey, do this and that. Like, did people give him enough advice and stuff? Like, I think he just rushed into the game and I think this happened. So his viewers said, oh, Final Fantasy 14 hype, you should try this game. And sometimes as a content creator, you are maybe not into something so much. But you will do this because your viewers really want you to do that. Like this happened to me too. There were like in the past videos that people wanted me to react to. And I was not so interested in this kind of topic or I wasn't like all hyped about it. But I felt like, oh, my community really wants me to do this kind of video or check this out. Then I have to like do this. But, but then what ends up happening, you become very critical or sometimes you maybe don't like something. And then you're like too honest or direct. And then people get like upset. Like if you say something, oh, this is too childish or oh, this doesn't make sense. Or oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. Or oh, this looks ugly. Like, if you say stuff like that, like people will be upset, especially if that's their main hobby or their main game or something. So you have to be a bit sensitive or careful with that and sometimes it's better to not play a certain game or to react to a certain video or something if you already know that you're not into that or that you will be. Like as a content creator you need to find some sort of balance between what you want to do and your interest and the viewer's interest right. So you have to find like a, a, a middle ground because if you go just like I want to do purely what I want to do or I want to only do what the viewers do you end up like not doing so well because either you become too negative or you do stuff that maybe nobody's interested in and nobody's going to watch you or something right so there's always as a content creator like the the middle ground you need to find and if you try like a new game and you're a bit critical you should at least be very analytic about it and do it like step by step not like boost yourself till the end like if queen would have like leveled normally and done this slow and he would have then given some, let's say, negative feedback about certain elements about the game, like, oh, dungeons are too complicated, or the indicators for boss mechanics are not visible enough or something, because he, he missed some mechanics. Maybe he didn't see what was happening on the ground, or that he had to get some distance from this one boss, right? So he could, like, criticize this, but he should have done this in a slower way, right? And played through the story. And then people wouldn't have been so upset, because they would have been a fair shot at the game with fair and honest opinions shared right but yeah this was really really interesting and too bad that he boosted i'm pretty sure the boosting plus the failing in the dungeons are the main reasons why he hated on the game because if you boost and do end game content and you haven't gotten into like the soft mechanics of the game of course you're gonna rage like when i was doing the first dungeons i remember First, there was this indicator if you're in front of a certain moss, uh, mob or boss. There's an attack that goes to the front. It takes 5-6 seconds to happen. And you need to walk out of this orange uh, thingy on the ground, right? Then you have like a boss that makes a circle around him. Also an AoE, but this time also behind him. Then you need to walk out. Then you have another boss in a dungeon where you have to break a freaking uh, thingy. And if you don't do this, like the boss will get some immunity or something right like there are mechanics that you learn slowly by doing first level 14 level 16 level 20 level 30 plus dungeons and by the end game you have seen all sorts of mechanics and it's easy to avoid them but if you just boost from level 18 like he did there you end up with like those complex dungeon mechanics that you didn't even see the soft or smaller version of in uh, previous uh, quests or dungeons right so that's why his uh, experience was for the most part negative because he just rushed through till the end without any experience 
and then the performance that he did wasn't the one he expected because he wanted to have just one wipe or maybe finish it the first round and because he couldn't reach this high standard that he had as expectation for himself he was like probably really upset about it and this really contributed to his negative feedback i would say but yeah guys that's it for today's video if you haven't subscribed already I would really appreciate if you subscribe because we are getting really close to 60,000 subscribers. This is insane. And yeah, I would also appreciate if you like this video, this will help out with the YouTube algorithms. And I wish everyone a wonderful day. Please stay all safe and healthy. And I will see you guys next time.